Hi everyone, Kurt here. I figured I'd make a quick video on an issue that I've been having for the last almost six months now. It's an intermittent problem. And it's with my Edge setup here. And the issue was my ASI Air Pro, which is right here. When I turned everything on, everything booted up fine except my EAF. It was not registering the EAF. And it was intermittent. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it wouldn't. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, yeah, oh, like, that's a classic cable issue. But I've got like six of these things. And I kept switching them in and out. And sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. And it became apparent that it wasn't the bleeping cables that was uh, causing the issue. And finally, I decided, well, I better contact ZWO. And I was a little bit leery because the last time I contacted them was a couple of years ago. It took them a month to get back to me, and then they never answered the question anyways. But uh, so I was, wasn't was expecting much. However, I was pleasantly surprised. I sent them in a request, and within one day, I had a response back from, I think, China. But I also got a response back from TJ Conley, who's in the States. And I explained the situation to him, and then he started having me doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know, with cables. And uh, he actually had me uh, take out the uh, the operating system. And on the ASR Pro, this thing comes out. There's a little scan disk in there with the operating system. And he wanted me to uh, reinstall it. But I, I actually had, a, had one already prepared for this when I first got it. So I just switched them out. But that didn't fix it. Then I think he had me do the firmware updates and that didn't work and he did a couple other things and that didn't work and so finally after about a week of trying to diagnose it with him he says yeah Kurt you know I don't know what the problem is I think you're gonna have to send it back to us and he requested a was a RMA for, to send it back they got back to me, uh, or the headquarters got back to me, and they said, yeah, um, they had me do a couple other things as well, sent them a data log of um, the issue, and they looked at it, and then they got back to me and said, you know, what, we're going to send it back. We can't figure out exactly what the problem is, too, and we don't know if it's the problems with the EAF or if, if it's with the ASI Air. Is it okay if you send both the EAF and the ASI Air back? And I said, no problem with me. So I just packed everything up and shipped it off. And one good thing was I only had to ship it to New Jersey. Apparently they got a fix-it shop here in the States now, which is much better than sending it back to China. I shipped it off on a Monday and about a week later, what I don't think maybe six or seven, seven or eight days later, I got it back again. And um, what happened was they said the ASI Air Pro was working fine. It booted up, everything was it ran everything. My proud the problem was with the EAF, so they replaced the EAF or at least the motor. I'm not, I think they replaced the whole EAF, and I'm happy everything works again. Now you may notice why don't I have this onto the edge anymore? And it turns out that I decided to replace or not replace it. What I decided to do um put my ASI Air Plus onto the edge and I'm going to use the ASI Air Pro with my portable setup. The reason for that is the ASI Air Plus comes with an external Wi-Fi uh, adapter and the ASI Air Pro doesn't have that. So what you have to do with the ASI Air Pro is you have to you would probably have to get some sort of a Wi-Fi extender and since I use my edge setup here at home and I'm on my ex home Wi-Fi. It's probably more advantageous for me to use this whole thing with the AS, with the Wi-Fi extender built into the system. And when I use my portable setup, sometimes I'm not even using Wi-Fi, well, an external Wi-Fi anyways. I'm going to be right next to the this apparatus. I'm going to be out in the field somewhere or I might be in my car. And I really wouldn't need this thing. So that's why I switched everything around. So the ASR Plus is now here. And the ASR Pro will be using my portable setup. 
And one other thing I want to say about this ASR Plus, it's uh, that's a quirky problem. So you notice I'm, I have my Pegasus Pocket Power Box running, uh, going through running it. And that's because I have to for some reason. When I for, used it the first night, it wouldn't run my mount. It ran the camera fine, but not the mount. So I was trying to get it to, you know, because I had everything plugged into the SR and it wasn't working. So finally I said, I know I'll get my pocket power box. It never fails me. And sure enough, I plugged my mount into the um, power box and I plugged the SAR into the power box and had my camera plugged into the SAR plus and everything was working fine for that first night. Then last night, ran right out there and fired up everything and sure enough, now the camera doesn't work with this uh, ASR Plus. It's, it's kind of weird. So what I did was I plugged the the camera into the uh, Pegasus Power Box, and then it's working fine. So fortunately, I have my Pegasus Pocket Power Box, and that um, takes care of all of my power needs. Anyways, I just wanted to make this real quick video, and kudos to TJ Conley for getting back to me right away. And I know AS, I know ZWO was having some problems uh, a couple years ago. People were saying, you know, their service wasn't quite there. And, but um, seem seemed to have the rack together now. And uh, I was very happy with the service. And that's my benchmark for a good company or not. You know, it's I hear a lot of people always talk about, oh, they just bought something and they, they're really happy with this company, you know. They sent it to me right away and it's boxed up really nice. So that's all... Uh, yeah, big deal. My benchmark or judgment for a good company is what you do when you do have an issue. And I got to say that ZWO got back to me really quickly and addressed the problem, and they seem generally concerned. So good job, guys. Okay, well, that's all I want to say, and thank you, and we'll see you next time.